manage their own blood pressure may do better at reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease. A program at the University of Oxford allowed patients to monitor their hypertension and to adjust their medication accordingly. After a year, that group saw a bigger decrease in blood pressure than the group that relied on health care workers. It is the number one reason for fatigue and why many women often can't give blood, but if you have low iron levels, you can build them back up. Medical reporter Liz Bonus explains how in today's Medical Edge. Um, I like helping people. It's a nice feeling. Actually, this is like my second time ever donating. My dad has always been, um, a, has always donated blood, um, and then recently my brother had um, Hodgkin's lymphoma and had to receive donations himself, so it's even taken on a more, a more personal note. Caitlin, Mary, and Sarah all have something in common. They're all able to donate blood, which means they have iron levels that are at or above normal levels. It's a critical time to replenish our end of the summer blood supply. As you know, people are traveling, they'll be out of town, so it's important to get as much blood on the shelves as we can before that happens. Iron deficiency is the number one reason women are not able to donate blood. The deferral period has been extended now, so uh, it's important to get your iron levels as high. It used to be where people could come in more quick, quickly, now they have to wait a couple months. But even if you don't give blood regularly... There is a reason that iron is called an essential nutrient. It is needed in every cell in the body, and when you do not have enough of it, you notice it. Your energy levels drop, your skin gets pale. People often will even say they have problems with their hair and their nails. So if you notice any of these symptoms, it's absolutely essential that you have this checked by your doctor. More importantly, it's essential that you start rebuilding it in the body. Iron supplements and foods high in iron may be needed, and these include red meat, eggs, spinach, raisins, iron fortified cereals, and beans. These may be best absorbed with foods with vitamin C. These are oranges and grapefruit. Liz Bonus, Local 12 News.